I can't believe how gross a room can get after just three weeks of not deep cleaning. During my deep cleans, I make sure to get every little bit of my room. This includes washing the linens, vacuuming the mattress, and the headboard. Anywhere dust and hair accumulate, I need to get to because otherwise my allergies will go bananas. Also, this never used to be this bad. I have my one-year-old Australian Shepherd to thank for this pile of hair. I also make sure to get weird spots like behind the door or up in the corners. Once everything's been dusted and the corners have been vacuumed, I grab my Tinco floor cleaner to tackle the floors. Then I do things like take time to clean my humidifier out. I just let it soak with hydrogen peroxide and then scrub. Now I can get a better night's rest, which I so desperately need. Trying to clean this disgusting oven tray. Hot water. Scrub, scrub, scrub. More hot water. Bubbles. Wait one year. Not great. Scrubbing again. Corners. Still dirty. Oven cleaner 3000. Bake for six months. Better, but not really. More water. To be continued. Round two. Baking powder. Dish soap. Boiling water. Tricky. Hot as hell. Big for four months. Bubbles. Slimy. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Great success. apartment. You can get these scrub brushes at the dollar store, fill it up with Dawn just soap and vinegar. When you're in the shower, just scrub here and there or anywhere you see dirty and you will never have to deep clean again. Oh my god, she's insane. Because I'm pregnant and did not feel like tackling the entire project, we hired cleaners to come in and do a construction deep clean of the farmhouse we renovated. But I could not just let them do all of it. So I took all my supplies over today and at least got the primary suite done for them. A construction deep clean is very different than a regular deep clean. This bathroom has hardly been used, so rather than focusing on sanitizing, you're mainly focused on getting out all the construction dust. It felt so good to have at least one room perfectly clean.
Yo, this one was crazy. Can't believe I'm now uploading this. Drove all the way from Arima down to Erin, which is on the south coast by the way, to get this mattress done. Plenty driving and plenty work because the mattress was in a state. Not surprising at all. Really? Because we go and call it a cleaner clean mattress anyway. Me know that. Well, I'ma tell you, I spray and I scrub and I spray and I scrub and he thinks that I look good enough. And this was before extraction. Well, I'll show you know what happened when the machine hit the mattress. Once there's visual improvement during the scrubbing process, that means the soils on the mattress are water soluble. And that means they can be rinsed away quite easily. But don't take my word for it. Have a look yourself. So I'll just give you all some information while the handsome technician does his work in the background. The average time for a mattress cleaning is between an hour to an hour and a half. The drying can happen indoors and is usually between 3 and 4 hours. Open windows, fans or air conditioning all help the drying process. The main thing is that the air is not stagnant, airflow is key. The best place to clean your mattress is usually right in the bedroom on its base. We can't clean it if it's laying on a wall and we don't work in the sun. Well guys, now you know. That mattress cleaning can be made part of your regular cleaning routine. And for the ones that made it to the end, here's a few extra seconds of this dirty dirty water. Because I know for some reason all you like seeing it. Again! Nasty. Instead of using the rinse clean system, the two bucket system, I prefer the double dunk system. I find that with the rinse clean, you're not getting enough water on your mop to get all the dirt off, so this works much better. I dunk it in the clean water and then in the solution and spin. Mop and repeat. Today I'm using the Magic Potion, which is on page six in the Mop Squad Handbook. Look how clean and shiny it leaves my floors. Check out the dirty water at the bottom of the bucket. When was the last time you cleaned your window tracks? These are literally so disgusting and it looks like they have never been cleaned. So let's tackle them. Okay, so here is my husband's blanket he's had since, how old were you? I was born with it. He was born coming home in the hospital with this blanket. It used to be much smaller, but now it's large, has holes in it, and it's shredded, but it's his favorite thing in the world. So we're going to deep clean it. We've used it in the washer before and it just didn't help. So we're going to deep clean it in the bathtub. I only have the washing powder. What do we have? OxyClean. We have OxyClean odor. Um, so because it does have a stench to it, but I wanted to deep clean it to see how dirty it gets. So here's me putting it in and we will come back in a couple hours and See the update. This is 30 seconds in, and the water's already turning gray. Brown. <laughs> oh my god, honey. This is so gross. <laughs> 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 like, I'm already gonna have to drain it and no, put more in it. Leave it in there. 
Oh my God. This is one minute in. One minute. The water's really hot, so I'm mixing it with this. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so this is about 15 minutes in. I went ahead and mixed it up a little bit to like loosen up more of the dirt in the in the blanket, but this is 15 minutes in. It's crazy. So I'm back to check on it. And it's been an hour and a half now. The color looks totally different. And here's the water. Okay, so this is the bottom of the tub after the water is drained, after the first round. I don't know if you can see all that, but that's just from the first time around. Okay, so this is after how long? Two hours? Two more hours. It's been soaking for four hours total now. This was the, the water. This one's not really bad, but it's still really gross. There. Yeah, you can't see. See it, I get it. It's a lot better this time around. The first time was gross. It was awful. This is what it looks like after it's completely done and dried. Before it was green, and now it's like. It looks different on camera, but it's almost like a light blue now. It's wild. How do you feel? Happy.
The oven door hasn't been cleaned in nearly a year. This was a difficult job. I used the pink stuff paste with the scrub daddy. Scrub scrub. Here's the result. A few marks I couldn't get off, but look at the difference. I love your personality. Thanks. It's a disorder.